What's going up guys? So if you remember in the last video, I said I need to do something with my brakes. So I need to replace everything. And instead of just replacing all this crap, I thought I'd upgrade. So I got brand new wheel bearing and hubs with ARP wheel studs. ISR conversion brake lines. Some braking pads. Look at that. Nice packaging, guys. And for Tommy Effia, I got the zinc coated roots. I actually got them because they were cheaper. These are the same ones I have on my silver car and my brother has on his car. So I know they're going to be solid. And to get rid of these calipers, you probably already guessed because of the conversion lines. I'm doing Nissan cast iron 30 mil calipers. These are four piston. And yeah, I definitely wanted to go cast iron because I don't want any problems with it warping, especially with how hard I beat on my car. But they're beautiful. So let's get all this old stuff off and put the fresh new stuff on. So first you're gonna pop this cap out. I already popped mine out because it was a pain and then bend the cutter pin down and out we're just going to break the middle nut break the two bolts holding on the caliper Remove the brake line clip. Remove the caliper. My brake line's so long, the caliper can rest on the ground. Remove the wheel bearing and hub and rotor. There it is. Pry off the dust shield. Oh, that was loose. Clean off the bearing mating surface. Apply some fresh grease. Take your fresh wheel bearing, put a little grease on the inside. Slide that greasy pig on. Make sure it's smooth. Clean off the retaining washer and install it back on. And reinstall the axle nut. The torque is 85 to 100 foot-pounds. I'm going to do 90. It should spin smooth with a little bit of resistance. That's how you know the bearing is good. Install the cotter pin. We have to remove this caliper. So. We're going to start by undoing the brake line. Okay, so the brake line's off. Pop this out. And then the brake line just pop right out. And I've got to stop this leak really quick. We're going to take our new ISR 300ZX conversion lines. Get a little wet in the rain. Packaging didn't do well in the rain. And this side goes in to where the brake line coming out of the firewall is, and this side screws in to the caliper. So I'm just gonna install this. And just tighten it up snug. Reinstall the brake line clip. Install the new rotor. God, they look beautiful. I see why Tommy F Dad is so obsessed with the zinc coating. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, torque down the caliper. Put a little high temp grease on the pad. And they slide right in. 
Same thing with the other one. High temp grease on the back. Anywhere where metal on metal contact is going to be. Just slide the other one in. Grab your hardware kit and put a little grease on the pins and slide them in. Moving the pad, kind of guiding it just like that. Same with the other one. Slide the two cotter pins on the holes. Make sure they pop all the way down. Take your brake pad pressure plate and pop it. And then hook in the brake line. Just get it snug. And you're done. Of course we still have to bleed the brakes and do the other side and pop that clip back on. Remove the brake line clip. Break the caliper bolt. Then remove the caliper. Remove the dust cap. And the cotter pin. And break the nut loose for the wheel bearing. And remove the wheel bearing hub and rotor, just like that butter. We got to remove that dust shield like on the other side. You just pry it off. Just like that. Then all you have to do is clean the bearing mating surface. After you've cleaned it, put some fresh grease on it and in the bearing. And then all you got to do is slide the new hub and bearing again. Install the lock washer. Make sure it goes in place. Grab the nut and torque it down. Install the new rotors and just lift up the caliper, slide it over the rotor. Now pop the new pads in after you put a light layer of grease and the other one. Now slide the pins in. And the other one. On these pins, so I'm just gonna make sure to do the ones closest to the wall of my caliper, making sure the pin is pushed all the way down. Just like that. Same with the top one, closest. Make sure the pins popped all the way down. And the anti-rattle clip gets popped in and pushed over. And now your brakes are fully installed. Look at that, it looks beautiful. Now all I've gotta do is run the brake line. All you gotta do is unscrew this brake line. Pull the brake line clip out. Your caliper and your brake lines are moved. Take your new one, put it right back through the hole. And screw the line down. Making sure you have your orientation of your hose correct and tighten it and slide the clip back in. And the line's in. And the same thing with this line, just screw it in. And tighten it down. Then install the second brake line clip. you're done and you get brand new brake lines and beautiful calipers and rotors look at that i'm so excited i just want to go drifting you guys have no idea my car's been down for like a week or two just because i've been waiting for all the parts to come in but i think it came out good thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it we're about to hit 500 subscribers and 200,000 views i think that's really crazy and i couldn't have done it without y'all so thank you and i'll see you guys later Break the caliper bolts.
but. And then clean the baiting, Mary. Then clean the baiting. God. Clean the baiting. <laughs> clean the bear. Clean the bearing mating. Oh my God. Clean the bearing mating surface.